Okay, hi, what's your name? My name's Fee. Hi, Fee. And uh, how long have you been in the camp now? Uh, since two o'clock today. Since two o'clock today. You like me, you came down to visit today. Yeah, stay in the night. So you used to work in the NHS then? Yeah, I did. I was an occupational therapist. Oh, right, cool. Yeah, cool. I worked in the NHS in a community hospital for about a year. And yeah, it was a very interesting experience because I've always been connected to the holistic way of doing things. So it was very, yeah, tricky to kind of be me in that environment because I don't see holistic in that environment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't either. In 13 well, years of being a, been, in 13 years of being a patient, there was none of that. So, yeah. what made you leave the NHS particularly? Was it just that you weren't able to express yourself? Well, it, there was a few things. Um, so I started before the pandemic hit, and then a few late. Few months later the pandemic hit but before that i also lost my dad so i was going through oh. grieving and that was a tricky situation but also with wearing the masks the communication difficulty with the patients the connection and then the fear and um yeah just not being able to share what was on my mind i really saw my mental health was deteriorating and i thought well i've got to put myself first here um and working in this high stress environment wasn't supporting my well-being so that led me to make the decision but i also had some anxieties i've had questions and i started to question the flu jab because I was, I've been getting that for years and did, during my studies, didn't think twice, but then this, the, the year 2020 felt different and um, that's when I was like, I've got to get out of here because I don't know how to express this and I actually, I tried, I went to, I had some counselling and I also called um, Samaritans and I, I spoke to them about how I felt about and he was like well I'll be having it and da, 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 which just suppressed my voice even more because I thought how am I even able to discuss this with someone who's not open to thinking alternatively as well so yeah very eye-opening um, and yeah I thought I felt led to to quit but now I work in a beautiful farm shop organic oh and, great uh, you know, they grow seasonal veg and it's beautiful and I'm working on building my own business. Oh, around, brilliant. Yeah, around water and around breath work because water and breath are both life. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, i got to get your details because I need to know about that stuff. Well, yeah, I have a friend and I said to him, we, my whole documentary is about taking personal responsibility for your health. It's about finding out what the drug is, what's in it and how it affects your brain and body and then deciding whether it's something you want to put in yes. put in your body and uh, he said well that's fair enough now, you know you take that as that's fair enough to do but yeah. i really don't think he's going to do it i think he's just going to go with the program mm. i mean that's uh, that's what you think your friend's going to do yeah well well that's what happened to my friend and it feels like a bit of peer pressure and that's how i feel and if i was in that nhs environment now i would definitely feel that pressure and it would definitely possibly make me cave in you know but i'm so firm in what i believe with what's going on in this movement so i'm not gonna back down for the world you know yeah. this is our freedoms this is so Excellent. important to us and our future and our children's future everything um but yeah i want to i want to be like a, a little bit of a voice for people who don't feel like they do have a voice um and just say at the end of the day you have a choice and yes, maybe your environment is pressuring you into something, but, but, but ask yourself, is that where you really want to be? What is this? Why is this happening? What is going on here? Um, so like in the NHS, there was always emails and obviously there's going to be figures of authority like managers and they're going to be pushing it. And as well, I don't know if some of you have heard about how GPs get extra funding for every jab that they do um, so that's eye-opening and there is actually documentation to evidence that as well if you want to look into it further ask why isn't there a healthy debate going on yeah well my big question is with all that time they spent looking uh, sorry all that time they spent at the podium giving out all these statistics and fear-mongering death toll death toll death toll why didn't they give out immune system boosting advice mm. 
it, uh, it's our immune system that's being attacked by this global virus that's going to kill us all. Why not tell us how to boost our immune system so that we can protect ourselves against yes, it? Yes. They don't care about public health. Absolutely. And, and why is there joint for jab, donuts and jab? All of these things going on. It might not be in the UK, but I've seen that happening in the US. Is it really about health? If you're being given these things that aren't, don't align with health. Yeah, here's a burger. <laughs> yeah. Take the poison. Yeah, it's very interesting. Don't don't let it be. Um, what's that experiment where they have the um, they have the cue? So there's the Pavlov. Yes, Pavlov's yeah. theory. What, what's it called? Pavlov. Dog. That's it. Dog. That's, that's right. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that experiment where they get the the animal to ring the bell. Is it the dog to ring the bell? I think get the, the bell lets him, makes it start salivating because he knows that the meat's about to come or yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So um, condition like the school bell, saved yeah. by the bell. That's it. Yeah. It's like you're gonna you're gonna have a treat for doing a certain activity, and it could be like you get the jab, then you get the donut. And so you're going to be salivating before you get the jab because yeah. you're thinking about the donut. So it takes like the uh, science out of it, the logic out of it, because you're too busy thinking about the donut or that person is. So yeah, absolutely. I don't know. If you yeah, put that yeah, in, yeah, but... yeah. That's great. That's <laughs> cool. What were your colleagues like? What did they think about your decision? Well, I don't know if they fully understood my. Um, full view but that comes back to me and my ability to express in an environment that wasn't open to that but that's something I'm working on but I did speak to my manager and I did actually say you know I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the jab and she said you know what I'm not sure either but she did end up having it and she did do her research into the different types of jabs and she went for the non mRNA one but still, you know, I wasn't able to fully get my perspective across, but I think that comes back to my fears in that environment. Um, and also, I know another colleague did get ill from having the jab, but she still went for her second one. And um, yeah, something else that's really important to talk about is the yellow card where you can um, report any injuries that you've had if you've had the vaccine. Okay. So people can be aware of That's that. Important, yeah. yeah. And see the numbers of how many people are getting um, effects from it. Yeah, that's what we need for sure. But there's statistics yeah. that should be made public, aren't they? Not Absolutely. just the death goal, death goal, death goal. Absolutely. Survival rates. Yeah. I'd like to hear about them more yeah, too. Yeah, recovery rates. Yeah. And that actually reminds me of a time where I was helping someone go home and they caught and three of them went home really well and they were older adults and one unfortunately passed away but he did have underlying conditions and that's important to factor in when thinking about people's age and what um, conditions they do have. Yeah, it's like the average age is 82 I think. Yeah. yeah. That says a lot. Well that's a brilliant, that's brilliant. Thanks Thank very you. much for that.